Hey everybody, so here's a quick demo on how to import a reference, a single reference image and use it to uh, trace out your shape on top of it and create a uh, polygon shape by tracing a reference image. Okay, so I've got a side view image of a horse that I want to use and I want to use it to uh, create my knight chess piece or at least part of my knight chess piece. Uh, and I'm going to create that in the side, the side view. Uh, and I want the horse facing to the screen left. Uh, so to place that reference image, I've got to save in a folder. I want to go to View, and Image Plane, Import Image. And then I want to navigate to my folder with the image. Here's the image. I hit Open. Now what I can do is I can scale this up a little bit with the scale tool and go ahead and view it in this mode what I can also do is I want it facing to the left so I need to rotate it uh, the easiest way to probably do that is with the channel box and select it again to click on it it makes the image plane uh, rotation active and I can make that 90 point them in the other direction. What I can also do is down here under shapes, image plane, shape 1, go to alpha gain. If I make that 0.05, that will lighten it up. Uh, or let's make it 0.5. So it's a little bit lighter and will be a little bit easier to see my polygon shape that I'm going to draw on top of that. Okay. So now I want to deselect that by clicking off of it. I want to go to the Mesh Tools, Create Polygon. This will let me click and interactively create a polygon by uh, creating vertexes one at a time. So I'm going to click here to create the first vertex. And I'm going to keep these pretty simple and, and rough out a, a fairly simple shape. I want to um, kind of keep the number of vertex points low to start with. So I'm trying to find like big shifts in the angle of the shape. You just hit those main ones that help to really kind of define this form. Like right here, like this cheek area, that's a big change. So I'm going to go ahead and create a shape for that. And then I'm going to cheat a little bit. And I want to curve the neck down like you would see on a chess piece. So here I'm going to go up a little bit, a little bit more, and come back. Maybe do something like that. That's a little more like the form of a chess piece. And go straight across. And what I want to try to do is mirror, or not, I guess not mirror, but make a complementary point on the other side for as many of these as I can. At some point, I won't be able to. But like if I got a point here, I want to point kind of across the one here. So I'm trying to plan out these points so it'll be easier to kind of create some of these shapes and just make my life a little bit easier here. There. Okay, and that's probably the last point. So this is my starting point and my final point. You can see it's not connected with green in between. You can see here all those vertex points are connected by a green line. It's not connected here. So to finish this polygon, I'm going to hit Enter and that finishes the polygon. So if I go back to this view, I can see my polygon right here. And I can select this, and I can move that back a little bit to make it easier to see my polygon shape. Okay, and then what I might do is select this. I'll select some vertexes and go in and clean this shape up a little bit. just kind of get this where I want it. And maybe that kind of comes down a little. Because I'm going to go in and add uh, later on the mane to it. So I'm going to kind of just keep this shape at the base of the mane. I don't want to include the mane in this. Maybe I'm 
and drag this here. Okay, so there's a pretty good starting shape uh, for this horse. Now what I can do is I can select the face, click on it, and I can uh, do an extrude. I want to extrude it. Uh, that's a, actually a pretty good width. Let's extrude it a little bit less. Because what I'm ultimately going to do is I'm ultimately going to model uh, half of this uh, horse head, half of the knight head, and then mirror it and create another shape. But as you see, as you extrude that, you get a good solid uh, object with faces pointing outward on both sides. Okay, So that's a starting point, and that's how you can trace a reference image to create your base shape from which you can then uh, expand upon the model. All right.